What's up guys, we all know what we're here to see. It's the Samsung Galaxy S3 on the left versus the Sony Xperia Z on the right. Now before I get any further into this review, I just want to say this is the European Galaxy S3, so it is the quad-core variant with one gigabyte of RAM. The tests that I do will probably be a little bit different to everyone in the US that has the Snapdragon and two gigabytes of RAM, which is a dual-core device. So just take that into account. Moving on to uh, specs and stats. The Galaxy S3 comes in at a thickness of 8.6 millimeters thick. In comparison, the Sony Xperia Z guys comes in at 7.9 millimeters thick. So uh, the Sony Xperia Z on paper is thinner, and obviously in real life it is actually thinner. But if you look and put them together here, you really find it hard to see any difference. Now, I don't know if that's because my Sony Xperia Z is in black and this is in white, and subjectively it kind of looks a little bit thinner. But if I put them together, you can see really there is very, very little difference. But uh, yeah, get rid of that. In terms of weight, guys... The Samsung Galaxy S3 comes in at 133 grams. The Sony Xperia Z comes in at 146 grams. So a little bit heavier over here, but it's a bigger phone, so it's pretty damn obvious. So uh, yeah. In terms of displays, guys, now this is a big one for most people. On the Galaxy S3, we've got a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1280 by 720p. Comes in with a pixel density of 306 ppi. The uh, Sony Xperia Z, guys, is a 5-inch display TFT panel with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 so a full HD panel over here versus a 720p panel, and has a PPI of 441. So on stats, the screen on the Sony Xperia Z absolutely blows away this, the screen on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Whether it actually blows it away in real-world performance or real-world viewing, I should say, is a different story, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. In terms of camera guys, the Galaxy S3 has an 8 megapixel shooter at the back, Sony Xperia Z 13.1. So you can see in terms of specs here guys, the Sony Xperia Z is outweighing the Galaxy S3. In terms of processor, like I said, this is the European version, it comes with the Exynos 4412, which is a quad-core CPU and it's clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. The Sony Xperia Z has a Snapdragon S4 Pro, which is a really, really strong CPU, has the... Uh, it's the same CPU that's in the Nexus 4 and a few other devices like the Optimus G and stuff like that. And it's clocked to 1.5 gigahertz. So just going down to raw specs, guys, you've got to give it to the uh, Xperia Z. But it, it's pretty obvious considering this has just come out and this has just been the, this is a year old. So uh, quite obviously it's going to have better specs. But we'll actually see real world performance next, guys. But uh, yeah, in terms of raw specs, the Sony Xperia Z wins out. Okay guys, moving on to real world performance, the way I'm going to test this out is by opening the apps and judging the speed, see which one, which one opens faster and stuff like that. You can see I've got nothing running on both, so the test is fair, and we'll start off with Google Chrome here. One, two, three, go. Little bit faster on the Galaxy S3, I think. We'll uh, open up Chrome again. One, two, three, go. Yeah, definitely faster that time on the Galaxy, faster and smoother, I should say, on the Galaxy S3, so that's interesting. We'll open up some more apps here. Play Store. Again, faster and smoother on the S3. Check out YouTube. Animation starts first on the Galaxy S3, but then the Xperia Z did get to the stream faster. So that's kind of a tie there, guys, between the two. Um, we'll open up Settings. Yeah, faster on the Galaxy S3, and this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's not all about raw specs. What else can we open? We can open up maps here. Very tight, that one. Don't really know who won it, so I'm going to do that again. I know they're in memory, but nonetheless. Galaxy S3 was just smoother and quicker opening up. You could definitely see some uh, jitter on the Sony Xperia Z. If you didn't rewind it and have a look, there definitely is some jankiness. What else do we have that we can open? We can open up the camera here. Where is the camera? Here we go. One, two, three, go. S3 wins out quite easily. Gally, the uh, Xperia Z was very slow to open up the camera. Sony really need to fix that. Do we have any other apps that are the same? Um, I don't think we do. We have play music, actually. We'll do play music. One, two, three, go. Animation was first on the Galaxy S3. Sony Xperia Z did load it up first, but then I have music on my Galaxy S3, so that definitely made a difference. 
Guys, I've got to side with the Galaxy S3 here. Um, the Sony Xperia Z is by no means slow, and I'm not sure if it's the Sony UI bogging it down or if it's the 1080p screen drawing more power than it really has, but it is definitely slower in real-world performance than my Galaxy S3. The Galaxy S3 is very quick at opening apps. Again, if I just open Chrome here, you could definitely see it was faster and smoother than the uh, Xperia Z. I mean, that's crazy. And I'm trying to hit these at exactly the same time. Definitely, every time it's been faster and smoother. So definitely a win for real-world performance for the Galaxy S3. Okay, guys, it's time to check out web browsing performance. So uh, I've got Chrome on both. It's the same version of Chrome on both, so it's a fair test. Let's open these up. Again, the Galaxy S3 opened it quicker and faster. We'll uh, clear out the settings here, guys, just to uh, be sure that this is all a fair test. Clear browsing and clear. Sony Xperia Z was very quick at clearing there. And let's jump out and do this. So I'll, uh, I'll write it in and resume when it's uh, in there, guys. Okay, guys, and Android Central is ready to go. So we'll click these at the same time. And they're off. Pretty much neck and neck there, but we'll load up the full version to actually uh, do the test. Galaxy S3 looks like it's off quicker, pretty much neck and neck. Galaxy S3 looks like it's in front. Who's going to finish first, though? Pretty tight. The bar's right at the end. The Galaxy S3 is done, and the Sony Xperia Z is done. So again, the Galaxy S3 is first and faster than the Sony Xperia Z. We'll uh, check out the performance here as we pan around. Pretty good performance from Chrome, or as best as you can expect from Chrome anyway. There are better browsers, guys, but I used Chrome on both to make it a fair test. Nice performance again on here as well. No checkerboarding. Can't seem to scroll quite as quickly on this version on the Galaxy S3 than you can on the uh, Xperia Z. We test out the pinch to zoom here. Both are very responsive. You're not going to have a problem with web browsing here, guys. And in terms of who won the actual speed test, it was pretty damn tight, but I think the Galaxy S3 did just win. So uh, we'll load up another page. Hey guys, I've got GSM Arena here. We'll hit go. Or we'll hit the actual button. And they're off. Both gone to the mobile side, but again, the Galaxy S3 was quicker. This is quite amazing, guys, considering it's a year old device and it's powering through. Hit the desktop version. Again, looks like it's gonna Galaxy S3 is gonna win. And it's done, and the Xperia Z is done, but again, the Galaxy S3 did win out. Now, when the page is loaded, the performance is still very good on both. You can see there's no problems. Both are very responsive to pinch and zoom. Try the double tap. Very responsive there. I think I missed a tap on the Galaxy S3, but you can see a little bit jittery there on the Galaxy S3. We'll load up a, a story here. Just to do another quick speed test. One, two, three, go. You can just see it's definitely faster, guys. They are running off the same Wi-Fi network. Definitely faster on the Galaxy S3. Saying that, it has finished up on the Xperia Z first. The Galaxy S3 seems to have frozen. But in terms of the initial page loading, it was faster on the S3. Okay, guys, so let's load up Android Authority here. One, two, three, go. Again, the Galaxy S3 is in front, a hair behind the Sony Xperia Z, but nonetheless, guys, it is behind. We'll load up the desktop version. Again, a hair in front. It's amazing considering this is a year old device and this is just out now with a better processor, but it's slower. And, you know, it's got to be down to either Sony UI or the 1080p screen just drawing more juice than the 720p screen of the Galaxy S3. But uh, both are pretty good at web browsing. You see, you're not going to have a problem. But in terms of pure raw speed, you've got to give it to the S3. We'll, uh, we'll load up one benchmark here, guys. Okay, guys, so I've loaded up Sun Spider. Now, this is kind of redundant, really, because you've seen that the Galaxy S3 is actually faster in real world performance. But nonetheless, let's check out the benchmark. We'll click the at the same time again. You can see the Galaxy S3 was first up to load and is first to start the test. Whether or not it's actually faster in JavaScript performance, we will find out soon. Okay, guys, and they're both done. The Galaxy S3 did start first and finish first, but as you can see from the score, they're both very close, running the same version of Chrome, I should add, 
The Xperia Z13 13, the Galaxy, the Galaxy Nexus, the Samsung Galaxy S3 1363. So a margin quicker on the Xperia Z guys, but you know, by the way, I should mention lower is better. So you can see what I mean by is quicker. Um, that is amazing. That's an amazing score from the S3 considering it's a year old device. The Sony Xperia Z, in my opinion, should be doing better considering it's just being released. It shouldn't be scoring the same as the S3. It's got better specs. But uh, there you have it, guys. And that's pretty much gone along with um, the other tests I've done. The Galaxy S3 has been smoother and faster in opening apps. It's been faster at loading and browsing around the web pages. You can definitely see that the Galaxy S3 is still an amazing phone. And even though it's beat by the raw specs of the Sony Xperia Z, it is not beat in terms of performance. Moving on to the camera, guys. We know the Samsung Galaxy S3 has an 8 megapixel camera. Xperia Z has a 13.1 megapixel camera. So in terms of raw specs, again, the uh, Sony Xperia Z wins. But we've seen from this video already that it's not all about raw specs. So uh, let's check it out. We'll just take a quick picture of my wallet here on both. And the Samsung or the Galaxy, the Galaxy S range, I should say, always have very good cameras being a uh, really high-end smartphones and just being so mainstream they always put a very good camera in it and you can see it's very contrasty photo that's more due to the fact that the screen is super amoled rather than the actual camera but you can see it picks up loads of detail very nice and sharp and if i uh, just show you some other pictures that i've taken here when i went to the zoo you can just see how nice the image clarity is on this screen i mean that is absolutely fantastic it's very sharp it's a very clear really good camera really well performing device here and uh, let's just go back to that wallet I took there. And we'll do the same shot over here with the Xperia Z. And try and make it the same shot. Again, very quick in terms, in terms of taking the picture. Let's put these side by side and see what we make of it. Okay, so slightly different. You can see the difference in the contrast of the screen. Some say the AMOLED is too contrasty. Some like it, some don't. That's just the way it is. Um, both pick up amazing detail in these uh, in this wallet. You can see all the scratches and stuff. In ter I mean, I wouldn't say that the uh, Sony Xperia Z camera is a cut above the Galaxy S3 camera from this picture. Um, it looks a lot more natural, but again, that could be down to the screen rather than the actual camera. Your, the decision is yours, guys. I'm going to leave this one open. Let me know in the comments which uh, camera you think is better. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The Galaxy S3, a year-old smartphone, still can hold its own against the high-end smartphones of today, especially the Sony Xperia Z, which has all the buzzwords, all the high-end raw specs. But when it comes down to real-world performance, the Galaxy S3 really holds its own. And in most cases, it was actually faster and smoother than the Sony Xperia Z. Now, I'm going to put this down to two things, guys. One is the Sony UI and poor optimizations in it. The second one, and I think this is the bigger one, is the 1080p screen. I happen, I, I just think the uh, S4 Pro and the Adreno 320 GPU in this isn't quite strong enough to uh, push the, the 1080p pixel, the 1080p display on this device enough to be able to make it as smooth as the Galaxy S3 at 720p. That's my opinion. In terms of actual screen quality and clarity, guys, I made a video that I've uh, linked in the beginning of this video. So if you want to go check that out, check it out. I did a comparison between these two phones and the Nexus 4. It's a great comparison. Go check it out if you want to see it. Um, I'm not going to talk. I'll show you any uh, comparisons in this video. So yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really impressed with the Galaxy S3. It's uh, still very high end. It still performs really well. And, you know, even though this has all the raw specs, you just you can just see it doesn't always matter. It's not always numbers, guys. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.